Well, here is a man who has captured the hearts of the WWE Universe, Sami Zayn. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Zayn. I faced off against Zayn when he began his WWE career a decade ago. We always saw the heart, but even I did not know he would rise to this level. Well, Corey, whether he was cheered or booed, Zayn has consistently fought the odds, defied his critics, and now he is competing at his highest level. No more bloodline. Sami Zayn is now fighting for himself. one-of-a-kind competitor. The often imitated, never duplicated, Kofi Kingston. And his opponent, representing the New Day, from Ghana, West Africa, weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston. A man some would credit with the creation of the power of positivity. And Kofi Kingston has such a special bond with the WWE Universe. Basically, when Kofi wins, they win. And you can never, ever count Kofi Kingston out. for a superstar to use their surroundings to their advantage. It's vital. Since there are no rules, anything can be used as a weapon against your opponent. Anything can be used in an attack when an individual is driven by malice and fueled by rage. It's a battle of attrition. Adrenaline makes you do crazy things. Oh, quickly slips behind into the German. Wrenching the arm. DDT. Just like that, Sammy gets stopped. He gets sent down to the floor. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Turning the tables there. Corey, what are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with? Well, this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's legal. The match can change in an instant when another individual who is not officially part of the match makes their presence felt. That's when a competitor needs to utilize the anything goes stipulation to their benefit and eliminate the mismatch. Sammy Zane, take down. The Koji clutch is in. How's he gonna get out of this predicament? Elbows his way out. Kofi Kingston has the power of positivity coursing through his veins. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Great wherewithal on the counter. Look at the height. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Bringing out that kendo stick means he is truly willing to go to the extreme. Kendo stick to the skull. Taking the fight near her announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Absolute hatred boiling over in this one. This continues to be personal, not just professional. You're right, Cole. Sure, either side would love to beat the other in competition, but this is more about beating them down physically and mentally. Anytime. Any place, damn the consequences. Driven into the barricade. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. Heads outside, but this one. Ha oh! Getting the upper hand with an elbow right to the back of the neck. Well, we got company here. 
the damage is already done. The superstar. Oh, oh, yeah. oh what was now, that? Oh, yeah. Now I'm really confused. A shocking turn of events. Byron, I'd say you're always confused, but I'm with you here. What is this all about? That seemed unnecessarily cruel to me. Now it's very clear that this friendship no longer exists. Oh, get Ooh, ready Zane. for it! Oh, timely counter by Zayn. Right across the face. Got him set up in the... And now Kofi is masked with blood. Shoulders down. Tremendous heart on display from Kingston with that kick out. Can he stay in this mask after such a close call? And I'm sure Sammy is going to find a way to twist this into blaming the referee, but he should focus his. Will it be? I think so. No kick out at two. How? How? And Sammy is looking to the crowd for some support. I don't know anyone that's more deserving of some. Sammy Zayn. Nobody can withstand that. Not even Cody makes the cover. Where is the roof? He's got the victory. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. Here is your winner, Sammy Zayn! Standing tall in victory after getting stabbed in the back. Gotta love a comeback story, guys. Absolutely, Byron. This win might be one of the sweetest forms of revenge. I think they'll be savoring it for a while. Here comes the street champion. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. The younger brother of the Usos, but had a far different upbringing. When Jimmy and Jay were getting their start in WWE, Solo was still getting into fights on the street. When it comes to the street champion, Solo always puts that title on the line. A Hall of Famer and our former broadcast colleague, guys. A wrestling god. And his opponent, from New York City, weighing in at 290 pounds, John Bradshaw Layfield, JBL. Member of the WWE Hall of Fame and a wrestling god. A triple crown champion who has held the WWE title, the Intercontinental title, and United <laughs> States Championship. One of the best brawlers in WWE history. Hey, Corey, you think JBL will pay the medical facility bills for his opposition tonight?
Guys, with this match underway, you have to imagine that Solo Sokoa has some dangerous intentions in mind for this one. Of course he does, Cole. The street champ is all about sending a message, and not a particularly positive one. Ferocious, dangerous. These are just a couple of words to describe Solo Sokoa. Some have also called him a menace, Corey. You do not want to get on Sokoa's bad side, but I'm not sure there's anything other than a bad side when it comes to this guy. Yeah, but he's facing a bona fide Hall of Famer. JBL is a true blend of styles and old school aggression with a modern analytical mind that ultimately took him to the top of the heap. Few superstars have done as much to earn the name Hall of Famer as John Bradshaw Layfield. This guy was clotheslining people across three decades, racking up wins and making a killing in the finance world to boot. This could be big, going up high. Oh boy, he's stalking him. Watching for it oh, from the top. What? You want to talk about putting it all on the line? Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Corey, we've seen Solo Sokoa get a bit hot, as it were, during matches before. He's a superstar who gets easily agitated and irritated more often than not. How do you think that's going to affect him here in this one? Well, hopefully, he doesn't let it affect him here, Cole. The last thing Sokoa needs to do here is be a hothead and let his emotions drive him, as that could spell disaster for him. Cool, calm, and collected is the name of the game, and Sokoa would do well to remember that. He's turning the tables! Short clothesline hits its mark. From the top! Solo Sokoa showing just how dangerous he can be there. Sending a message through pure physicality. He kicked out! He actually kicked out! I thought we saw this reach the boiling point. Solo Solo can end this now! What a win, what a battle, wait for the hook! Oh, with a kendo stick! What the? What, what is this superstar trying to prove? Just ambushing from behind with a kendo stick! A terrific striker, a master purveyor of high-flying, innovative offense. AJ Styles has competed at this level for decades. Such a special athlete. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles! AJ Styles is an athlete who many would argue possesses the best all-around skill set in WWE. Styles has an unmatched drive to win. Undeterred passion, fire, and desire. And we're going to see it on display tonight, courtesy of a phenomenal one. You know, being known as phenomenal, that's just the beginning. Well, anytime AJ Styles is in the ring, you have to almost assume that it's going to turn into an instant classic. Yeah, another one's imminent tonight. The Scottish Warrior has arrived. A multi-time world champion and a Royal Rumble winner. And to this day, one of the toughest fighters in WWE. The 
The Scottish Warrior outlasted 29 other superstars to win the 2020 Royal Rumble match and then carried that momentum all the way to WrestleMania, where he became WWE Champion. The powerhouse of positivity, Big E. And representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E. Big E doesn't care how bad you think you are. He'll take on anyone. Bringing his smash mouth style to the ring, Big E will crush your own dreams before your very eyes. Each superstar is keeping one eye on each opponent in this triple threat match with AJ Styles, Drew McIntyre, and Big E. Always a feeling out process in the early goings of a triple threat. You want to gauge your distance. You want to know just how much real estate you can have to yourself. You don't want to be the first one targeted because things can snowball against you quickly. And Big E falls to a counter. Move back into the hip toss. someone can be. What will this come down to? This is about who can weather the storm. A superstar can attack at will here. Everything is a weapon. That is what makes this so dangerous. It's anything goes. There are no limits here. It can be chilling to see the lengths someone's willing to go to to destroy another human being. And by chilling, I mean The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Up and... certainly has to be piecing together a new game plan now. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? Compromised position here. Driven down face first. Oh my goodness, just strike it at will. Oh, what a DDT. Wow. Don't do it. Oh, God. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. What dragon screw? That'll destroy a knee. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. <laughs> Big E flipping that switch right away. Clearly, he thinks he's in the driver's seat. Back up. They're, they're getting too close. 
looks for comfort. Well, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Oh. Ooh, avoided the attack with an nasty chop block.
gets tossed into the ring. Malicious. That's disrespectful. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Uh oh, this is not going to end well. Big time. Power. He's heading back to the ring. Stopped in their tracks with a knee to the gut. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. And he'll lead the ring for this next stretch. Uh oh. Incredible reversal into a DDT. Big E not worried one bit about the competition. Big E 
This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. He returns to the ring. This could get wild. Beautiful shot block. Trying to debilitate the capability to stand. Styles taking it by surprise. Oh, there's a headbutt. McIntyre basically telling him. That this is what dominance really looks like. And he tosses it back in now. Shifts it back onto him. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, no! Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Gets inside the ring. to his opponent's soul right now, trying to see what they're made of. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. Right, here we go. And for the DDT bite. Uh-oh. Look over the suplex. No, uh -oh. no, no. no. Neck breaker. Telling him that this is what dominance really looks like. Who won the race? Charlie's horse. DDT. Styles looking for it, and he's got it. And the cap pressure. Will he tap? Can he hang on? And he breaks the hold. Ah, oh, look at this. Oh, headbutt. to the floor. Oh, diamond plate facial. And you guys, I, I see blood coming from Big E's face. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. Backbreaker. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Not the position you want to be in right now. For me, that won't just separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Like a Terminator, McIntyre's eyes are seeing red. Steers clear of contact. Into the barricade. Thrown back in under the ropes. <laughs> huh. 
The WWE Universe starting to feel the power with Big E right about now. He climbs into the ring. The shoulders. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. Boom! Oh, impact. Shoulders down. And that'll finally do it. What a victory! Triple Tets always deliver three times the action, and that one was no exception. Take a look. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Quite the performance from all three superstars in this match. I have to say, I'm just as impressed by this win as the WWE Universe. Triple threat matches are no joke. WWE Universe, pay your respects to the Tribal Chief. The ultra-dominant Roman Reigns and his special counsel, Paul Heyman. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by their special counsel, Paul Heyman from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Individually, both already have Hall of Fame credentials for Reigns as a competitor, for Heyman as a manager, but now each man is making a strong case for the greatest of all time. Together, they have unified titles, created yeah. multiple main events, and set the foundation for the bloodline. And the scary thing is, yeah. Reigns and Heyman are only getting started. No one stands in the way of the head of the table for too long. A decade of dominance even more powerful than ever.
<laughs> Just a different feeling in the air when WWE's resident superhero makes his entrance. And his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Ricochet, one of the great high flyers in WWE today. But, Corey, how would you compare Ricochet to the high flyers of the past? You can name some of the all-time greats in Rey Mysterio, Shawn Michaels, superstars who truly excelled in the sky, but none to the level that Ricochet has. I just love to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because Ricochet is going to do something special here tonight. No doubt about it. Roman Reigns has firmly solidified his legacy here in WWE. One of the most dominant superstars we've ever seen, and he's planning on reminding everyone of that fact here tonight. There is no doubt that he's going to try and prove that in this one. The constant question still lingers. How long can Reigns remain at the head of the table? And you have to understand the place Ricochet is coming from tonight. Time to receive disrespect from his opponents. Well, maybe it's time for Ricochet to stop behaving like a starstruck fan around the locker room, Saxon. That's your job. Maybe then respect will come his way. Punch right in the head. Setting him over the top right. And there's gonna be more, Michael. There's gonna be more. This is in the wheelhouse. Oh. Exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxon's a very fragile boy. We know Ricochet loves a quick pace, Corey. How does one combat against that? That pace can cause Ricochet to get overzealous at times. So maybe baiting him to miss an aerial maneuver can open up an opportunity to cause damage. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. Clothesline. So effective. Repositioning their opponent. Looks like a neck breaker. Oof. Bang. Ooh. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. What a reversal by Reigns. Hit butt to the back of the neck. Defiant counter to Reigns. Yeah, that one busted Roman Reigns open. He's getting a little battered now. The knees up. Could be a big turner out here. Oh, rocking the jaw. Just disrespectful. Set up in the corner of the ring. Superman punch by Reigns. A yeah, well executed move we just saw there. Wow. Yet. Perhaps worth it now. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. The Roman Empire grows as Reigns continues to conquer his opposition.
Here comes the queen, Charlotte Flair. A woman who has truly done it all in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. If you want to create a legacy in the WWE Women's Division, then Charlotte Flair is the mountain you have to climb. Yeah, there's no one even close to the amount of accomplishments that Charlotte has. The WWE ring is her unquestioned kingdom. Charlotte will stomp you and then leave an imprint of her boot tattooed on your face. Highly skilled in every facet. Strength, brawling ability, risk-taking, mind games. No other women's competitor has been so decorated, so revered. Charlotte Flair is ahead of her time. True greatness usually isn't realized until after you've been enshrined in the WWE Hall of Fame. Such is not the case with Charlotte. Just open your eyes and experience the greatness. Raquel Rodriguez, a massive presence in the women's division. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Think about the incredible resume of Raquel Rodriguez. In her first three years, she's been an NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, a Dusty Rhodes Classic winner, an NXT Women's Champion, and a WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. Hey, we know Charlotte will do anything and everything to win. She's got to have that same mentality here tonight. We talk a lot about Charlotte's gracefulness in the ring, so I suppose it really is no surprise that she insists on being called the queen of WWE. Now, and not just the queen of WWE, Cole, the queen of all eras. A title she earned, a title she's maintained with every distinguished move she makes in the ring. Every devastating statement she makes against the peasants, she lowers herself to face for the injury. Lock it in, the Dragon Sleeper! This is excruciating! Showing the world just how much fight she's got left! Just yet. There's number two. Will the third time be a charm? Side on Charlotte Flair's mindset in this one. Charlotte wants more than a win. She wants to assert her dominance. People pretend they don't know just how superior Charlotte Flair is. So sometimes she needs to remind them. Textbook neck breaker. No. Cross body to the floor. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Raquel said, really? 
The Queen came into this match with the express purpose of putting a beating on a peasant, and that was a step closer to it. Well scattered reversal there. Raquel weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of her own. She's just having her way with Raquel. And that's Charlotte Flair asserting her dominance, reminding the competition in the WWE Universe just who is on top here. Here's the torture rack. Racked up, not finished yet. seems to have left this rivalry with each passing week. When animosity runs this deep in your veins, Cole, I don't care who you are, you reach animalistic levels of desperation. Well, let's hope they can hang on to a small bit of their humanity, guys. Oh, the slam! <laughs> Off the barricade! Face fell up the barricade! <laughs> Setting up for something here. Now watch this, fellas. And now thrown back into the ring. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. From the top. Here's a cover. Could be it. Digging deep. Kick out. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Targeting the arm to great effect. Flair moved at the right time. And the queen of all there is making it. He got the shoulders down. She kicks out with force. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Rodriguez staggers up, but might be put back down for good. Nasty chop delivered by Charlotte, followed by natural selection. No way Raquel's getting out. Oh. Yes. Now the champion winning the match here tonight, and she begins the celebration, a hard-fought victory. Uh oh, look out! Oh, look who's here! Oh, from behind! She, she never saw it coming. And now your ex, oh, she's got the title. She's got the title. Just tattooing the champion with her own title. I guess, statement made. Hey, Michael. It's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight. Please, never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. The following is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior. Sheamus! The WWE Universe is finally giving Sheamus his just due. Has won nearly every major title, has earned every major accolade, but he still loves to fight. The look in his eyes says Sheamus is ready for another five-star brawl. You think this guy cares about ratings? And his opponent, from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
one of the most powerful competitors in WWE history. Yeah, never give up isn't just a t-shirt, it's a legit way of life. Big match, John, ready to go to work here tonight. Hey, it goes like this, arrows change, championships are won and lost, but there is one constant, and that one constant is John Cena. Here we go, Extreme Rules match time. No disqualification, no count out. Anything goes, hashtag Extreme Rules if you want to get in on the conversation. You can tell that each superstar is coming into this match a little extra cautious, a little more nervous because of the uncertainty an Extreme Rules match presents. Electric chair in the face buster. Counters. Steer clear. Ooh. Ah, it blows. He's returning fire. Heads out of the ring. What's next? A ladder. Things are about to get high risk and very painful. That's just hard to watch. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. As easy as it may seem to come into a no DQ match with no plan other than to get violent, strategy can play a role in this. Now's the time for a superstar to get inventive, to get creative when it comes to inflicting damage on their opponents. Oh, boy. To the announce table now. Oh, uh, yeah. Gonna clean it off here. This is gonna be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Trying to target the back of the neck here. Put her in a position now. Fireman's carry. Oh, jeez. Blatant disregard. Vicious right forearm. Reversal. Catches Sheamus there. Close line. What impact. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. And now he may be planning to turn this match into his very own home run derby. Battling ringside, and our announce table is getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Completely throw off your equilibrium. Whip back into the ring. He leaves the ring and there's no count outs in this one. Holy, meet the barricade. Counter from the Celtic Warrior. And he gets set back into the ring. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Oh, boy, come on, not the chair. Oh, my God. And look at this, the blood. He may get the three count right here. I think so. Three, no, a kick out just in time. Holy moly, how? Boom. The Catholic Warriors 
Cena's chances are waning. Cena's having his way. He's about to become the chairman. Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Short of two. Still not enough to put him away. Punch right in the head. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. Whatever's playing here can be good. See the time drop down. And he sends him to the corner. about anything goes as this incredible match showed.